America. Land of the free. Land of garbage. This garbage contaminates the lands of which we are allowed to be free. I have taken it upon myself to gather crew to document how pollution affects our homeland. Our first stop, Leavenworth, Washington. We are going to visit Wenatchee National Forest to see how negative human interaction has affected it. We finally made it. We're here at the forest. We're gonna go inside and see what we can find. We're already off to a good start here with a nice pile of trash. We're gonna head in and just check it out. Where's Moeen? Uh, I think it's that ghost thing. Oh my god. It's whatever, it's whatever. Look, 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 there's a can right here. Yeah. Give it. What was that? A Bigfoot collar. Why do you have a Bigfoot collar? I don't know. Hey, 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 watch out, watch out, oh! <laughs> hey, hey, get off him, get off him! Hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. Come on, hey. Can we ask you a few questions? <gasps> some, some questions, you know? <sighs> All right, if you could just sit here, please, Mr. <laughs> Foot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh! Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 stop, 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 you don't f just trying to help. You. My name is Sasquatch. But you humans call me Bigfoot. I mean, Bigfoot. Me day day life is I take walk walk and I eat the mushroom. Yummy. I am too old. Far too old. Only kind left is here. Humans affect me by killing other squatches, burning forest. Hey, 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 hey. Next. Question. Moeen, Moeen, where have you been? Huh? Where have you been? Just trying to look for pollution like you told me to. Where have you been? We were doing something more important than that. Why I'm weren't you with us? Like me? Why weren't you with us? Uh, bro, I just told you. Oh my god. Anyways, you won't believe what we just saw. Bro, we no, found Bigfoot! We found Bigfoot! No, you didn't. No, we just no, found no, 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 you didn't. Yes, we did. Video. Look at this! Oh, my neck what is does broken. That got to prove? He got mad. Why, all right, so why did he get mad? Well, tell me why did he get mad? The stool I gave him broke and he just got angry. Okay, so where is he now? Well, we just told him to have a good day. Okay, all right, all right. So, so what are we gonna do now about it? Just listen. Monster of America. Why? Cause yeah, sure, pollution, big old monster guy, but there's Bigfoot. We just found Bigfoot. He's real. There's got to be more than just Bigfoot, dude. There's got to be. There's got to be so much more. There's got to. You're gonna be like, oh, dude. Oh. Someone get it. Someone get an ambulance. Someone get in that. Go, go get an ambulance. Come on. 
After having to take Drexel to the hospital, we decided to make the short journey to the swamp lands of Louisiana. Here we hope to find the elusive swamp creature, made famous from such movies as Swamp Thing and Creature from the Black Lagoon. We took the opportunity to interview a local so we can get an idea of where to look. A swamp creature? <laughs> they only live here. <laughs> In this time of year, the swamp creature goes down to the sewer drains for hibernation. <laughs> this guy's telling the truth. About this, bro. Dude, let's just go in. Let's just go in. Okay, all right, okay, okay. All right. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God! Stay calm, Mark. Right. Hey, stay calm. Oh. Stay calm. What is this thing, bro? bro I don't hey, stay calm. We're gonna ask you some questions, all right? What I say? Ah. All right, we got him sit down right here. How do we know if he speaks English or not? Don't worry about it. I speak lizard. All right, then. Oh, no, it's oh, no. <laughs> hey, don't touch that. Empire State. Home of the human being who covers what is not to be seen, lays his presence in the home where his parents abandoned him. His sheer existence put fear in those that attempted to move in the wretched household. We go now to see if this ghost of New York lives up. Jeffrey Griffin, <laughs> or as you call me, <laughs> the ghost of New York. I start off with waking up, and then I hit the town. I frequently visit the stores, because there's a lot of people that go there, and uh, I mess with them. It's really fun. <laughs> it really, really scares the life out of them. <laughs> I used to see people all the time. Back when the house used to be a big, how do you say, attraction. Uh, people just came all came from all over the state until I scared them away. 
The only way I can think of humans affecting me is by making me what I am today. My parents, they used to be hot shot scientists. With this New York air, everyone driving around, I was bound to have problems with my lungs. They didn't believe in going to the doctors. They thought they could do everything themselves. They made a, they made a medicine for me to drink. They put me to bed and I woke up, I was like this. They thought I ran away. They didn't care for me. Of course, with two big shots leaving all willy-nilly like, people were bound to have questions. They're like, where's your son at? No one knows the truth. That's the reason why they think this house is haunted. I ain't done nothing to search for my parents. I don't think I can forgive them for what they did to me. The only way I survive is by stealing. I know it ain't a good thing, but I have nothing else going for me. When no one's looking, I just snatch whatever I need. Oh, trust me, I've tried everything to become normal again. Everything from trying to find my, my parents' old chemical they made for me to calling up other scientists. You know, it all ends the same way. They laugh at me, call me a nut job, and they hang up. And I go to sleep the same way I woke up. So we met the legendary Bigfoot, some sort of swamp creature, and the elusive invisible man. We learned from them. We learned that they're not just monsters but a species that deserves the same amount of respect we do. Instead of destroying their homes, we need to preserve them. We must assimilate these beings into our society. We shouldn't be afraid to live alongside something different, even monsters. If only Drexel could be here to see how his idea is going to change the world forever.